What's going on, ladies and jackasses? We're out here and it's too cold. When there's no man around. Let's just go in the house. Nice. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to have a look at some of these 3D RPC parts that I think are pretty cool. We've got some, uh, we're going to throw some into the uh, Outcast here and the Creighton as well. These blues are for the Creighton V5 because, well, the body is blue. These red ones are going to be for the Outcast sitting here on the old table. Um, we got some wing mounts, which are super flexy. These are very cool. They look really good. It's very difficult to see, but they're kind of uh, trans, not translucent, but maybe a little bit clear, like some old Christmas candy, maybe, kind of looking stuff. Uh, very flexible. These wing mounts are fantastic, uh, as far as I can see so far. And we're going to throw these on. The old outcast here, obviously. And we got this little front bumper deal that goes in here. Because these rings tend to break, and they are broke on the Creighton. And then I got some, uh, I got some other things I want to try here. These are prototype uh, body mounts for the for this uh, Outcast XL. Because I want to run the the uh, the stock body on it, and I don't care how goofy it looks. I just want to run it. So we're gonna try these and see if they work, or if there needs to be some kind of modifications done to them. These aren't quite exactly what I was looking for. I really wanted to have an arm come down and rest onto the chassis here just a little like a support kind of deal but we'll see how these work and this is like the first edition kind of so uh, we'll throw these on and see how that works um, and I guess uh, I guess let's get to it here just gonna take these screws out right here yeah, fantastic I'm probably blocking the light source but whatever there's a bunch of things I'm going to be doing to this outcast today, I think, but for now, I think I'm going to cut them up into separate videos. Right now, we're just taking these four little screws out here quickly. You probably can't see what I'm doing, which is just fine. Y'all don't need to be sneaking into my life anyway. How long does that screw need to be? Well, for crying in the mud. I don't like using those drivers. I'll probably end up grabbing one, but I really don't like using them because I don't. Ah, these parts are so small. These screws are so small that feel like I could pretty easily be out of control with it. You can see this is squished in the middle just a little bit, but it's not broken yet. Take this old little dog, red one here. Wedger in there. Like that. screws back in so I got a joke for you guys New York City downtown there's a bar these two guys are sitting in there having a drink just getting sloshed and man it's so windy outside one guy looks out the window and he Looks over to the guy next to him and he says, man, it's so windy out there. I bet you I could jump or I bet you I could go to the top of that building right over there across the street. I could jump off the top of it and the wind is so strong that I bet you it would just blow me right back up to the top of the roof and land on my feet. And the other guy goes, you're on, let's go. So they bet. 
They go across the street and they go to the roof, that skyscraper. And the guy who made the bet steps off the edge and the other guy's like, holy crap. Full on panic mode and then, what do you know? The guy who jumped off comes right back up to the roof and lands on his feet. The other guy's like, holy crap, that's the coolest thing ever. And he dives off. Yeah, let's go. And of course he falls all the way down and squishy on the pavement. The other guy goes back down to the bar and sits down to his drink. Bartender comes up to him and says, you know, Superman, you sure are an asshole when you've been drinking. <laughs> stupid. But I'm stupid, so whatever. That's probably why Coolio suddenly stopped returning my phone calls. You know? Because I'm an asshole and I'm stupid. Boy, this is taking way too long. God. I'm not going to tighten those too much because you see they just want to crunch that down in there. <laughs> yep, just like that. Cool. That looks pretty, pretty fancy in there. Lots of flex. That thing ain't gonna. That thing ain't gonna break on us. Now let's see here. Let's do the old uh, wing mounts. For this, obviously, we need to get in here. Pull out these side screws. A beauty and a the beast. Cha cha cha. Well, what in the? Shut up, kitty. You're disturbing me. Get out of there. There's one. Right, spitty kitty. I told you I'm not going to do that until next week. So stop asking. Also, stabbing people is not a good idea, no matter what cat tells you to. Right, Spitty Kitty? Yeah, he knows. <laughs> he knows all about that. Probably should be using cheaper tools to pry on things. <sighs> Pull these out the back. You guys probably can't see, but I don't care. This is very simple stuff. Y'all can figure it out. This truck's a lot of fun. Tank mode. I have RPM arms for it, but I haven't broke the stock ones yet. So we'll just keep running these ones till the RPM or till the uh, till they break and the RPM ones can go in, right? The 
did have. There we go. All right. I'm going to take these out here. Maybe. You son of a... Oh, those are two millimeter. Two millimeter here. Trying to set up a nice work area in one of the spare rooms here. I haven't quite gotten around to it just yet. We'll get that going one of these days. Let's Drogo over there scratching himself. Just because I don't want to be sitting out here in the living area doing this because I'm rarely home by myself. Just happens to be that I am right now. Watching the old Motor Trend TV usually. All the cool gadgets and cool stuff going on there. Even though they're mostly reruns. <clears throat> Shout out to the guys on the Arma Forum. Kind of a neat place to hang out if you need information. About Arma vehicles. And uh, I'm just generally there trying to harass people. Asking him for pancakes and whatnot, because I'm old and I like pancakes. We'll just slide that out of there. We got the wheelie bar here, obviously, so... We're going to use these red ones. You can see... They're different from side to side, obviously. So to avoid any kind of confusion... Oh, what in the world? Ah, there we go. So this one's going to be for this side, I believe, looks to be correct. We're going to have to put the capture nuts that are here and here into the new piece. So we'll just pop that one off, pop this one on. Huh. It's going to sit at a little bit of a different angle, isn't it? Compared to the old one. You can see the factory configuration is going to be up a bit higher than the new version. It's going to be a little more of a low profile for this wing. Pop on the other side here. Come on. Go. See, she's gonna slide right back through. Just check fitment before we get too crazy. I'm sure they're just fine. But on this particular rig, I am running <coughs> I am running some different parts than the factory here. Yeah, looks like it's going to work just fine. These are the Just Bash It RC Towers. M2C chassis, M2C supports. Tower to Tower Brace is Basher Queen. Hot Racing Rear Differential. I haven't gotten around to popping one in the front just yet because I don't really need it just yet. So on and so forth, but that looks like it's going to fit just fine, so we'll pluck that back out. Well, what in the world? Well, I've never seen such a... <sighs> no one asked you, Speedy. Okay, slide the wing back on like this. Looks pretty good. Yep, yeah, seems to fit. Pop these little caps back on over. Get those screws ran in.
never used this headband camera mount before. I think it would be just be hilarious if no one could see what I'm doing. It'd be about par for the course for me. It sure is uncomfortable. I feel like it's give me a headache here if I wore it for too long. It's pressing into my brain like a bad Shakira song. Is there a good Shakira song? Hmm, probably not. I guess I haven't decided to subject myself to any sort of cruel and unusual punishment. Somebody out there is like, Eh, hey, Shakira, she's my baby. How dare you say such a thing? Makira. Or Shakira, or whatever the... Yeah, man. She's my idol. How could you ever say bad things about Shakira? Right, Drogo? <laughs> Drogo never talks back to me. Spitty does, though. He's got a lot to say. Don't just... Don't just Spitty! Spitty kitty! You bastard. Go back to sleep, you big orange ginger son of a bitch. Alright, wedge her back in, wedge her back in. Well, I never seen such a... Th ah, there we go. Good. Yeah, it looks pretty cute. I'm going to get these capture nuts out of here. Uh -oh. I know what I should use. My broken MIP. Stab it. Yeah, that's right. Not sure why I got one steel one and one stainless in here. We can remedy that. Oops, missed. These probably aren't likely to stay in here too well. Nope. That's... Drogo, go lay down. Not likely to stay in here. As well as they would have in the stock part. Well, that was an RPM wing, but I guess a harder plastic part. Gotta get kind of muscly with it. And I can already feel on the other side that it's spinning away in there. An inconvenient part about running softer tools, or softer parts, See how that holds up. Pop one in the other side. God, you guys gotta be bored by now. Alright, now we got these back two screws here. Two and a half millimeter, obviously. I should be replacing these ones that come with it with stainless, but for time's sake, I won't right now. And I know it's in a weird spot. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Can't tell if this stupid camera's aimed properly up on my forehead looking like a God knows what. And we'll stop there, because these are pretty soft parts. Run the other one in. And we'll stop there. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Man, the flex, compared to the RPM, is off the charts. And that's what I want. Because this wing takes quite the beating.
when you're as terrible as a driver as I am. So that's cool. Looks pretty good. Awesome. Now, get on to the body mount here, because I really, the whole point of this was that I wanted to run the stock body. This is a new body, new outcast body. I wanted to run this stock body on this XL. And I don't care if it, you know, it doesn't look, and might not, I don't care. See, the wheel wells don't match up, everyone. <laughs> Dude, you're going to destroy this body anyway. You can see we got, yeah, our depth is good. Looks like right in the middle of the hole there. And I think, oh, well, right off the bat, I can see there's going to be an issue. Looks like the, when you slide these in, it's going to hit the body right here, here, and here. But just to make sure, we'll uh, throw them in quick. see I'm gonna have issues here yep she's uh she's hitting right here you probably can't see and the whole point of these was I wanted to run the stock body well could I trim that out yeah but it's not really what I was looking for I just wanted to be able to slide the stock body on so, uh, these aren't going to work. It's hitting here. Also, what I was kind of after here with this, what I was kind of after was something that would come off of here that I could run a screw and a nut on either side because you, we all know these threads like to pull out. And when you can put a washer on the end of the mount and a nut, it's way stronger. And then I was thinking if an arm could come down and just rest on the chassis, if an arm could come down and just rest on the chassis right here, you know, the whole dealy bobber, and then, and then have your post come off of that, and I know it might be a little tricky to do that stuff, but these aren't really what, really what I was looking for, but they might, they might hold up, yeah. Maybe. They just need some clearance here because I'm not going to cut my body. The whole point was to throw them on there, throw the stock body on without modifications. So that's okay. Looks like they would have to be notched. From what I can tell, a uh, quarter inch would do it. Yep, take a quarter inch notch here, out of it. Take a quarter inch notch out of it, head around the... Could probably take the notch at... Start the notch. At... I'd say maybe... 26 mil bring it out to the 35 mil area start the notch in here at about 26 mil from the back side and end it at about the 35 or 36 mil be plenty enough to give you a little room in there then we'd be able to run the stock body on it all right let's throw all these other parts in the crate and We'll take a look when I'm done with that. Okay, as you can see, we have the 3 RC parts installed in the crate here. Very cool, very good looking. Wing mount in the back. Once again, super flexible. Much more flexible than the RPM ones. By the way, if you're not using these hot racing 
uh, lug caps or whatever you want to call them. These are much more aggressively serrated, if you can see. Hopefully you can. They've got a much deeper serration compared to the uh, just the normal kind of ridged lug nuts. These stay on much better. I've never had one of these fly off. I've had these uh, a couple different times. Even no matter how hard you crank them, they just sail off. So these hot racing uh, doodads are the ones to get. I'll throw that part number on your screen. So thanks to 3DRC for the parts. Very cool. They look great. And um, we'll look forward to a little revision on the body mounts for the XL Outcast because I really do want to run the uh, factory body on that. If this video was helpful or informative at all, uh, do me a favor and like and subscribe because it helps me out, helps the channel out. Um, I don't expect you to turn on notifications because I don't want annoying notifications on my phone every two minutes from YouTube. So I wouldn't suggest that unless you're just a diehard, hardcore YouTube guy, maybe. What? Um, we got some more videos, uh, including this travesty. <clears throat> That is a Italian, arm Italian, EXP. Lightening it up with some Basher Queen parts. And we're going to see if we can't break the Italian speed record on that. Got some, got some goodies here for it. XLX2 uh, ESC. Uh, we're going to try the 1721 motor in there. And that's just going to be a beast. And we might do some other things that um, I won't mention as of yet and we'll see if we can't take out that record of 125 i believe is the record and i think it's attainable i think we can actually do pretty well with that um with the right electronics and the right setup so we'll go from there and thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see you next time right spit kitty spit kitty hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking.